guys, Michele here and welcome to another video. First of all, I want to really thank you once again for all your support, uh, your uh, appreciation you had in my past uh, our link to tutorial video and I, I'm really glad to read all your comments and all your thumbs up and all maybe also your criticism and else because it's really important also to have uh, negative comments to grow up every, every, every new video I make, by the way. Uh, here's the Renault Megane. Um, this morning the situation was was like this. It was super cold, and I passed like uh, 20 or 30 minutes to uh, try to de-ace my my car, but uh, was uh, was a was very tough to do. By the way, uh, let's move on to the purpose of uh, this uh, day video, and the tutorial is this one. How many of you are tired of hearing this sound? Well, I have the solution for you. And uh, first of all, I want to say that I I not I do not agree with this uh, with this tutorial because it's really uh, dangerous to drive without the safety belt. So please always wear your safety belt and uh, never uh, drive without it. Uh, this tutorial is also for educational purpose. Uh, I do not, I repeat, I do not agree with this, but many of you asked me how to uh, remove the seat belt uh, sound and uh, I, I'm going to make a tutorial in which I, I'm going to uh, explain you how. So, if you agree with me, let's start with the video. Okay, so we're ready to do this tutorial, okay. Um, first of all, I want to really say to you, uh, to all my followers and uh, all people uh, are watching this video, Happy New Year, it's 2019, and uh, then move to the uh, purpose of the video. So, open it for all. Ah, uh, guys, um, in the description, I'm going to link uh, even the OBD2 interface I use and also the DDD for all software, uh, com the, the complete version of the DDD for all software. So you don't need to uh, download any 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 other parts uh, or uh, ECUs. Uh, the software, I, the link of the software I provide is already um, ready to be used and it contains also all the ECU made by Renault. Uh, Dacia and uh, Nissan, I guess. So, open it for all software. Wi-Fi interface. I know they can iron my car. Connect. Okay. Now, uh, as I said in the other video, this procedure works uh, for the Renault Megane, uh, the Renault Clio, the Renault Kajar, the Renault uh, Chenic, uh, every type of, uh, every model, it works. It might be a slight different because <coughs> any car has, a, um, has um, an appropriate ECU. So maybe if I have the Renault Megane, it will be uh, written in one way. If you maybe have the uh, Renault Chenique or the Renault Kajar or the Renault Captur, uh, it might be uh, written in another way, but the procedure is quite the same. So. Select your car. I select the Renault Megane because I have the Renault Megane. So Megane 4. Okay. Now, uh, the seatbelt warning uh, ECU is located here. It's located in um, BC, uh, no, cluster TDB. Okay, we have to open cluster TDB. Then we have to select, we always have to select the highest one. So uh, version 3.20 or version 3.30, we have to select version 3.30 because it's the highest one, okay? Here, then double click here once again. Then uh, uh, we have to go in Ecran Configuration. Uh, I guess it's French, but I, I don't know how. Okay, click on it. Uh, now we have to open the Conf Prestation VEH. Double click. It will take long because it's a really tough ECU, so it maybe take a couple of seconds to open, so uh, don't worry. Then we have to go here. Front SBR inhibition CF. Front SBR not inhibited. As I said the other times, uh, it works in binary mode, so it's zero or one. If it's not inhibited, it means it's one, so uh, it's active. We have to disactivate, so we have to write uh, a virtual zero in this ECU. So we have to go on the right part, 
and click front SPR inhibited okay then as usual we have to aim the modify by clicking on the Einstein face and then uh, we can do this okay after we did this now the modify has been complete uh, as I said uh, no in this it's important also to do the reset software because uh, uh, it's a procedure that uh, uh, will lead to soft reset of your dashboard so it may be you may be uh, lose uh, like the odometer uh, or the average consumption but if we click the reset software we see that uh, the screen goes black and then reopens okay uh, as I said is a is a software uh, is a sort of software reset that uh, uh, allows the, the ECU of the car to shut down and uh, restart uh, briefly okay now the um, only thing remain is to see if the if the uh, procedure worked Another thing that I suggest to you is to uh, also uh, lock the car, exit to the car, lock it and uh, reopen it uh, about three or four minutes after. Guys, um, I am on a, on a street that uh, doesn't have traffic so I'm, I'm in safety. But as you can see I'm going to, uh, wait a second, I'm going to uh, 30 km per hour and now it should uh, it should make the sound. Uh, I inhibited the the front SBR so now it works. I don't have seat belt and uh, the car doesn't make any sound. So the, the modify has been done and it worked. By the way, if this tutorial was helpful for you, um, I will be glad to, to let me know if you like the video and please don't forget to subscribe to other tutorials, to drop a like and to comment because I'm really glad to uh, read and to uh, answer to all your comments. Okay guys, it was a pleasure as usual and uh, see you next time. Bye!